So, uh, Todd, the uh, the third of uh, three games against the, the Panthers and, and so close to being another victory tonight. Yeah, it was uh, awful quiet in our dressing room uh, after uh, that game. Um, the boys played fantastic for all three games uh, and they threw they threw everything at all three games. Um, lost a heartbreaker in Brayhead. Um, won for the first time in the team's organization in Nottingham, which was a big performance for us. And uh, tonight, um, there were some tired legs, a few mental mistakes, a few physical mistakes from, from tiredness. Um, but uh, I can't fault the boys. Uh, they came out and played uh, exceptionally well. I know they're down about it right now, but I feel this club's turned a bit of a corner. Um, and, uh, you know, watch out. I mean, once everything starts clicking for us, uh, I, I think we only have better. How important was it to go uh, to Nottingham last night and, and really put a marker down in, in, their, in their barn? Well, it, should, it certainly would have been a shame um, to come out of uh, this weekend without any points. Um, it wouldn't have reflected the, uh, uh, you know, the effort and, and the amount that the guys threw into it. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely important, and I mean, we're, we're not sitting exactly where we want to be in elite tables, but uh, you look at the points we've got, two in Belfast, two in Nottingham, and a point off of Sheffield here in the shootout. So those points will be valuable down the line uh, once we get back into our division. Um, we open it up with that tough Brayhead game, but uh, I have a feeling all those games will be tight and difficult all year, but uh, um, we'll be good. We'll be good. We are a good. We are a good hockey club, and and, and we'll come good. Um, and so there's no worries there. Um, just uh, just keeping these guys uh, focused and uh, their chins up because uh, they're playing some awful good hockey right now. And that was 180 minutes that they've played over the past three nights, and there was a point there where you're struggling to get 120 minutes out of them. So that's that's yeah. going to be a big turnaround. That was 185 minutes. We had we had of overtime course, yeah. in Nottingham last night. So. Um, yeah, you're right, and, and some of these guys, they just look like they can keep going. Um, that was their third and, and three, and they, they're, uh, I, I can just continue to use guys. Um, and, and even, you know, you look at the performance of, of a Stephen Gunn tonight, um, the kid's really come on. Well, he's not a kid anymore. He's really come on. It looks like he's found a, his confidence. Um, he plays out there and, uh, and been using Scooney as well. And uh, Scooney stepped up when I, when I called on him this weekend. I think he did a great job. There was a, a few one-on-one -on -one, um, opportunities with the netminder, two for two for them, which didn't pay off, and then one for us, and it was Matt Reber, and and quite quite a goal that came out of it. Yeah, uh, that's something that we're really trying to eliminate. Um, we we know what kind of job uh, Kevin does for us, um, and the guys definitely don't want to, him overworked. Um, he's just stopping pucks for us all over the place right now. So to give up breakaways, we did a couple in um, Edinburgh as well. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, we, but we'll, we'll work on changing that. Um, but you're right, then Matt Reber gets one and he buries. So that could be the difference in hockey games. It's just tonight, um, we just couldn't find that net and it wasn't for lack of trying. There was a couple couple great, great chances. We, uh, we spoke on Friday about uh, Matt Reber being back in uh, in the lineup and uh, maybe not being 100% match fit, but you can't really tell that out nice, can you? Oh, I mean, the guy just the guy just skates for fun. He's, uh, he's quick, it's, it's good to watch. And you're right. I mean, uh, he had maybe you know five or six good quality scoring chances. He gets Matt Sharp, um, and that line really starts clicking like we know it can. Um, there could be a dangerous line. Uh, and Kyle Horn barking the lineup this weekend as well. Yeah, Horny. Um, well, I was going to use him sparingly. Uh, we didn't use him on uh, the Friday. Um, ended up getting just about near enough a full shift on Saturday and and tonight. Did look bad at time, looked tired a little bit, but I, I talked to him on the bench, he, he was feeling all right. Um, he's got a long ways to go. Um, Kyle Horn's a very valuable player for us, but he's a, he's a heck of a lot more valuable in shape. And uh, he, he's, got a, he, he's, got a, he's got a hard program ahead of him here in the next couple of weeks, but uh, Kyle's committed. He, he wants to be a regular in our lineup, and uh, it's good to have him back. So this weekend, it's a uh, sorry. This week is a quick turnaround because we're playing on, on Friday night against Coventry uh, at home, yep. uh, and then uh, Dundee away in, on Sunday night. So, so what are the uh, what are you going to be working on over the next five days? Well, I'm going to give these guys some time off here. Um, you know, they, they deserve to uh, to to get a wee break here after all the traveling and all the skating they've been doing. 
Um, we're a little bit fortunate this week with the holidays. We, we get some earlier training sessions, so we'll get these guys rested and in bed at uh, decent hours. Um, you know, we practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, and, and we will work on a number of things. Um, lost two close ones to that Cardiff team, or Cardiff, sorry, uh, Coventry team, and uh, we feel, you know, we own one. Uh, I think that the way the team's playing now, it's going to be a great game, and I think uh, we really fancy our chances, certainly in this building. And then, of course, uh, we get a, we get the odd uh, odd Saturday off, so um, we'll probably do something as a squad just to get the guys together, have a bit of fun, uh, maybe maybe a light light skate, and then you're right into that tough Dundee building, which is always kind of a bogey building um, over the years, quite a close rivalry. But um, you know, we're, like I said, if, if the guys come out and play like this weekend. Um, they should be winning hockey games, and they will win hockey games. We'll put together some four-point weekends here, and uh, we'll start propelling ourselves up the up the charts, and uh, it'll be nice to see. Nice stuff. Thank you.